everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Uh, my name is Crystal and I'm so excited to share this recipe with you today because I hold it very close to my heart. Um, I actually started cooking when I first came to Canada as a student and uh, this is among the first recipes that I cooked there. It was such a trial and error and basically I took things and just threw it into a pot and tasted it along the way and it turned out really great and it happens to be one of the recipes that I have saved to pass on, I hope, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoy cooking it. So let's get started. I have a pan heating up and I'm going to put in about um, a teaspoon of oil and to that I'm going to add five cloves and three one inch pieces of cinnamon. So throw that in and I'm just going to increase the heat. Okay, and we're just going to let the spices um, temper the oil, come to um, a nice temperature where they uh, release their flavor into the oil. So while that's happening, I'm going to start chopping my onion. And I have a really cool story behind this. So I hold my onion like this. Um, and I don't do it the right way, which is that. Because um, my dad does an amazing chopping he does a 10 second chop he just basically goes chop 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 and i can't do that so one day he showed me how to do it the right way and when i did that i ended up nicking myself more times than i can count so this is how i chop my onions and i've never cut myself ever since um and yeah so that's the story behind my onion chopping the crystal way so um, I have the oil that's come up to temperature. I'm going to throw in one large onion in there. And I have some more here that I've cut previously. So we're just going to get this frying up. By frying up, what we're doing is we're just caramelizing the onions, getting it to a nice brown texture. And what this does is it adds an amazing flavor, adds a sweetness to this dish and it just offsets the almonds and the cream cheese that we're adding. Wait, I didn't tell you what this dish is called. It's called, um, I call it the creamy Philly almond chicken. While that's going on, I'm going to quickly uh, show you how I chop my garlic. So I have two garlic cloves here. I press down with my knife and with the heel of my uh, palm. I just press down on it and crack open the peel. I'm going to leave uh, the root end intact here and just slice down into it and then just chop it up with a crystal chop. I'm going to take it and toss it right in with my caramelizing onions. Okay, so that's in the process of browning and now when it's reached this point when it's kind of taken on a little bit of color but it isn't like caramelly brown we're going to add in the spices so um, I'm going to start off with a uh, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds throw that right in there and a teaspoon of ground cumin and that goes in there half a teaspoon of turmeric, a quarter teaspoon of brown pepper, half a teaspoon of red chili powder. Now this is hot, so use it as for your taste. And this is a star of my uh, recipe. It's cumin seeds that I've just ground up to a fine powder. Okay. So we're going to throw in two teaspoons um, of the cumin, sorry, the coriander uh, powder and just mix that up. Now what we're doing here is you can see that the onions, this mixture has kind of thickened up a little bit, like it's not as um, loose as it was for lack of a better word, but you see the spices have kind of adhered to the onions and this is what you want. 
what this stage does is it helps the spices release its oils and all the aroma and all the flavor. If you were in my kitchen, you know what I'm saying. Um, you can smell the spices and that's what you want to do. You're kind of roasting and toasting the spices along with your onion. So we're just going to let that go for a little bit. Just a couple minutes of stirring. So now once that process is done, this is when we add our chicken. I have here two pounds of chicken, boneless chicken, and I'm just going to throw that in. I'm going to add some water, about a cup of water. And I have here some chopped coriander or cilantro stems. I have the leaves saved for later uh, to garnish it. At this point, I'm just going to use the stems. These stems have a lot of flavor and they just brighten up the dish with that wonderful fresh herby um, flavor that they lend. So just throw that in there. This is about um, two tablespoons worth. Season it with some salt to taste as well. Okay, and give it a quick stir. Cover it and let it cook for about 20 minutes. Okay, so this chicken has been cooking for 20 minutes. Let's give it a look. Okay, so you see it has a little bit of a gravy um, that, and that's from the water and the chicken. So to this, we're going to add four teaspoons of ground almond. And just going to throw that all in there. Once we stir that up a little bit, the start of the show, there's a drum roll, the furry cream cheese. Now I have used one whole brick of the light furry cream cheese, or I'm going to use a whole brick of the light furry cream cheese. So I'll throw that in there. As you can see, the almonds um, have thickened up the gravy and the cream cheese has melted completely. And it's taken on this lovely creamy texture and it looks really nice, doesn't it? So at this point, we're going to add some chopped cilantro and get it on the top. And I like adding half a lemon, lime, sorry, half a lime. Or you could use lemon as well. And your dish is ready. So uh, let's set it up. And um, I'm going to show you a really nice way to um, present it. I have the chicken served up in my serving dish. Um, and I have this really nice drizzle that I'd like to put on the top. Just to give it a little bit of a flair. So I have here 2 tablespoons of melted uh, Philly cheese. My melted, it was at room temperature. And I just put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds just to soften it up a little bit. And here I have some canned coconut. So I'm just going to mix it in with the cheese to kind of thin it out a little bit. I'm just going to put some of this creamy, filly and coconut um, mixture into the bag. It makes it so much easier to drizzle it like this. You could try doing it with a spoon, but I can never seem to get a nice drizzle, a clean drizzle. So I'm just going to Cut off a tiny hole at the bottom and with a tiny squeeze just drizzle on. I'm going to garnish it with a little bit of chopped cilantro and coriander. And I like to serve this with um, some Lebanese pita bread that I have here. You could serve this with some Indian naan, you could serve it with rice, or why not go crazy and serve it over spaghetti? And then you can combine the Indian with uh, the Italian. Okay, let's give this a quick taste. Mmm, it tastes so good. So what you have here is the richness of the cream cheese, you have the lovely texture from the ground almond, you have all those spices that mix so beautifully with the cream cheese because the dairy in the cream cheese kind of helps mellow down the spices a little bit as well as liven up the flavors with its sweetness. So this is my cheesy Philly almond chicken. I enjoy making this dish and I hope you enjoy making it too. Thank you for joining me today and have a good week.